So uh, this piece that I wrote, um, it's called In Memory of the Miser. I want to thank Ken and um, everyone who um, cheers for me. I appreciate you and I, I love you. Uh, I was very uh, interested in sharing this piece um, as, because it's an ephrastic poem and uh, it's the first one that I had published. Um, so you can absorb the painting that's on page 102, um, this painting uh, while listening. Now, uh, if you don't want to be influenced by uh, the, the painting, please uh, close your eyes and don't even look at it. <laughs> if you don't want to be influenced by my words, please close your ears. <laughs> so um, I, I have no idea if there is an afterlife, um, yet I try my best to live in case there is one uh, <laughs> in hopes that I can make proud all that is holy and divine. Um, as you've already heard, there was a murder outside my window, and if you don't know the term for murder, uh, it's a flock of crows. Uh, and uh, this was inspired by um, Hieronymus Bach's painting, uh, Death and the Miser. So without any further ado, uh, this is the poem. Hieronymus Bach. thank you. When the grim reaper creeps in your door, his face a skull, his body skin and bone. He's cloaked in white with an arrow in his hand when demons lurk under your bed, beside your bed, over your bed, laughing at the archangel offering light as comfort. When a flying rodent returns with proof of the day you sealed your fate in blood, and sold your soul to Lucifer for luxury. <clears throat> when there's a flashback and you see yourself counting coins more than the prayers of the poor. When there's only one bright beam flowing from the Christ on the cross, hanging in the window, and you shudder at the sound of flames. When you're only bargaining is for your breath after a whiff of brimstone and you're shaking your head no because no night can save you from your day with death. Will you be like the miser when you hear the final call and question what did you covet? Eternal peace? Mm. Mm. Yeah.